hey, hi again. Here we have a new review for you. This is my latest uh, Bible that I uh, acquired from uh, Church Bible Publishers. This is the 120 white margin cameo. It came in this uh, a box, a very nice box. Um, a very dark navy blue with a white uh, bottom of the box. So here's the, the edition in calfskin of this uh, Bible. As you can see, this is red letter. It's the authorized King James Version by Church Bible Publishers. It comes with one, two, three, four, and five hops, raised hops. Right there, you can see a very nice and classy uh, perimeter stitching all around with a, a line that is being tooled in in the calfskin. It's not deep, it's just uh, it's just there, all right? This, this calfskin won't take it too deep because it's a very thin calfskin and uh, it's ironed. So you can see how flexible this is, right? That's indeed an ironed calfskin right there. You can see that it is stitched all around and tapped into the text block with a uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl uh, uh, paper right here to match with the cover in black. Right, and then we have right here in the beginning one, two, three, four blank pages, okay, uh, for the presentation page, uh, family record, children, marriages, more marriages, grandchildren, and deaths. Uh, this Bible came with one black ribbon, uh, and I replaced that one with these three uh, navy blue. Uh, Beresford ribbons, uh, 10 millimeters uh, thick or wide, all right, uh, with a white uh, head and tail bands right there, which I think um, matches very well with the black and the navy blue. Uh, that's just me. I just wanted to give it a bit of touch right there, and uh, for the first time, I see a very nice art gilding in these editions. This is a step up in the making of these Bibles, uh, in my view. Uh, now, it's, it's a very um, light uh, red, it's not dark red. Uh, I would prefer it to be much darker, but it's there, it's nice, it's a nice uh, fine touch. And as you can see right here, we also have the perimeter, wide margin, all around, um, which I think is, is, is class for for uh, taking notes and as you can see this uh, perimeter the margin is nearly uh, one inch a bit less than one inch in the in the gutter one inch and one inch so it's pretty much one inch all around the perimeter all around the the, the page uh, so that's very nice. Uh, this Bible is in a verse by verse, which is ideal for preaching and teaching, and uh, in my view, is also great when you're taking notes because you can write your notes next to the, each verse. Okay, I think that is an improvement uh, in today's uh, Bible making. Uh, I think uh, you know the, that that should be the standard. Now, one little. Uh, thing that uh, I wasn't really expecting is that uh, some of the pages are printed uh, as you can see right here with a little bit of uh, uh, ghosting in a different uh, position so not all the pages actually uh, come matching the other side the other column in the back as you would expect us so you can see one line here and then about uh, a quarter of an inch another line next to us so you can see that uh, this column doesn't really match the line or the edge of the other column on the other side of the page as it should have so and you can see the one line here next line right there but it happens it could happen you know most see here as you can see um, this, this is another example see they can see the A right there in, in, in the margin they're not printed aligned like for example in this case you have a perfect alignment right there on the columns back and forth not 
not so in this case. You can see the columns a bit moved to the left. There's a bit. Well, that's the only thing I could tell you I'm not uh, happy about. The rest of the Bible is excellent. The red ink, for for once, I have to say, uh, with all these affordable Bibles that come up with very pinkish and and, and very faded uh, colors, but for once. Bible that is affordable like this one uh, this Bible goes for $65 uh, more or less uh, you have a very rich deep red uh, and very well consistent and very consistent uh, throughout the whole the whole Bible well done uh, church Bible publishers that is amazing right there you can see the red and this is a, an 8 point font 8.5 I think it is very readable, very dark, and if you love the KJV, if you like uh, the style, the, the, the poetry, and and, and uh, basically the accuracy of this Bible. Now, this is an excellent uh, portable wide margin because it is only uh, eight and three quarters inches tall by six six and a half inches wide uh, it's not very thick it is uh, one inch and a half and uh, the paper is excellent it's uh, it's a paper that will take uh, very well uh, the ink of uh, pens like this this is a micron pen 005 which I suggest you may use for this type of Bible so that you don't have any bleed through when you write in them now let's see what's in the back of this Bible and uh, we have after Revelation we have a few pages for notes okay and then we have Bible maps a list of Bible maps we got 15 maps and that's the index right here which I think is brilliant to have the index and here are the maps uh, in, in cardstock paper uh, very very rich colors all around uh, what is amazing is also the big margin that you have right here to write notes and, and thoughts and anything you, you want just around the perimeter look at that the ministry of Jesus you got all this information and you can find your way in it's very good I think it really is Then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven blank pages for extra notes. All right, and uh, that's it. This is uh, the calfskin edition of the 120 white margin cameo by Church Bible Publishers in the King James version of the Bible. I will put a link if you want to purchase this Bible uh, to their website, their ministry and uh, they basically these Bibles are sold at cost if you want to help them you can do a, a donation and uh, uh, that would be a blessing for them and also to keep going in, in publishing this very high quality Bible so please like our videos and subscribe if you haven't done so and see you next time in a new review Shalom